Welcome to the second part of the Cyclone HD installation and configuration. Okay, um, the first uh, setup screen will appear. Uh, if this screen does not appear, uh, don't worry, we will show you how to get to this screen in uh, uh, later on in the video. Um, first thing we need to do is uh, s set the menu language. We will set it in English. Then we need to set the time and date. Um, this is very, very important uh, for uh, uh, for people who are using the time and record function on the Cyclone HD. Uh, again, we will discuss this topic in a later later video. So just set the year. Months correct. The day is correct. Hours, minutes. Press confirm. Okay. Okay. Next part is to uh, set the actual the network settings. Um, depending if your Cycon HD uh, needs to be connected on network. If not, uh, just press cancel. If you do need to connect to a network, then uh, select uh, whatever uh, IP settings is set up on your. Uh, uh, home network, so we will set a, a DHCP for us. Press OK to save network settings. The next setup screen is the pre format screen. As you can see, the warning sign says that all hard drives formatted on the next screen will, will lose its data. So if you have if you have a hard drive which has data and you plan to format it, uh, please double check that you don't need the data on the hard drive. If you do, uh, uh, please uh, turn off the machine and back up the data before you start up the format procedure. Of course, if you have a new hard drive uh, not been used before, you can just ignore this warning sign and press OK to go to the main format screen. If you're using the old hard drive which has data in it, you will most unlikely to see this pre-format screen when you first start up the Cycling HD. Instead you will notice that you will go on straight to the main menu of the Cycling HD. The reason why is because the Cycling HD detects data in your hard drive so it would instead bypass the format setup screen. If you require to format your old hard drive you need to go to the setup menu of the main menu um, that we will talk about more in detail later in the video. Press OK to go to the next screen which is the main format menu. OK the last setup screen is to format the hard drive. Depending how you plan to use your Cycon HD player there's two types of file format systems for you to choose from FAT32 and NTFS. You can use both file systems if you want to as you can see on the screen. Uh, the hard drive partition default is 50% by 50% for both file systems. You can change the percentage size of the partitions to whatever file system you want to format more to. So which is the best file format system for you to format in? If you're using the player for mainly for recording and doing uh, a lot of file transfer and data streaming, uh, this can only be done by using the FAT32 file system. If you're doing uh, a lot of uh, playback files, which is over the 4 gig uh, size, uh, this only can be done by using the NTFS file system. Or if you're not sure how you're going to use the player yet, you can just leave the default current settings and press next. This is the final screen before the format starts so if you uh, change your mind regarding about the partition size of your hard drive you can always go and press the back button to go back to the previous screen. If everything is ok um, just press the format button and it will start formatting. The duration of the formatting depends on your hard drive size. 
okay the formatting has completed uh, just press ok to reboot the Cyclone, Cyclone HD player final part of the tutorial is to show you how to gain access to the first setup screen and the format setup screen through the main menu this is the main menu of the Cyclone HD um, I will show you how to get back to the previous setup screen from the main menu go to setup then scroll right to get to the system menu as you can see you can change the time and date on this menu too and there's the hard drive format option this will take you back to the previous hard drive format screen that I was showing you halfway through the video and the one I will go to now is the restore default option this will take you back to the first setup screen of the Cycon HD as you can see we are back on to the first setup screen um, thanks for watching this tutorial